So Bamboo Labs has changed Bamboo Studio visually once again. So my old demonstrations of reducing the preprint purge are similar but now different. So let's start off by recapping what the issue actually is. At the beginning of every print using a Bamboo Labs printer, it is programmed by default to shoot out a considerable amount of plastic. If you don't make decent money and are a penny pincher like me, this can be infuriating. If you are doing small test prints, sometimes the amount of filament purged can be similar or even rarely more than the plastic used on the actual print. I am still not 100% sure of why the pre-print purge exists, but I have heard a few reasons. Mainly, I have heard that it is to ensure that all of the previous filament used, whether it be a different color or material altogether, just making sure that it's all removed before your next print, especially for people with the AMS system. This may be helpful if you do have an AMS system, however, for people who don't have one and pay attention to what they're doing when switching filaments, this can feel like a complete waste of filament. I don't own an AMS, so I can't confirm if this change alters its function at all, but I assume not, and I haven't really heard much from anyone else about any conflicts. So this fix will show you how to reduce the amount of plastic purge or completely remove it at the beginning of your prints. The exact printer this was done for is the P1P. I don't know how exactly this will differ for any of the other printer models. I would imagine it would be similar for any printers in the P1 and X1 lines, but I have no idea for the H2D. I do know that the A1 and A1 Mini are very different form factors, and their start G code is quite a bit different. If you want to see a tutorial for either of these machines, I can't afford them personally, so I need your support by liking this video. Video, subscribing, using the affiliate links down in the description when possible, and maybe even telling Bamboo Labs to work with me if you would be so inclined. Let's begin. For reference in the future, my version of Bamboo Studio is currently 2.1.0.59. Start by getting to the prepare menu. This next step is the main difference compared to the old versions of Bamboo Studio. They changed the UI so that the printer settings editor is not immediately visible. Why this change was warranted or mattered, I don't personally know. Probably just try and be, be sleek and crap like that. But luckily, it's still not difficult to get to. You hover over the, your printer selector dropdown. It is currently below the prepare and the printer tabs. Do not click on the dropdown, just hover over it. The pad and pencil symbol should show up currently in the top right corner of the printer selector dropdown window. Click on that. From here the process should be the same, but let's continue just in case. Go to the machine G-code tab. Make sure your window is scrolled all the way to the top and focus on the machine start G-code window. Bamboo has still not implemented my suggestion of making the text viewers scalable, so if you want to make viewing easier, click somewhere in the box, then press Ctrl A. This should select all of the text. The hotkeys may be different on Mac or Linux, but I wouldn't know. I'm using a Windows machine. Then you can copy the text using Ctrl C, making sure that everything is highlighted. Then you open a text document editor like Notepad on Windows, and then you can copy all of the text into it with Control V, making it a little bit easier to view. And possibly, if you do Control F, you should be able to try and look specifically for what we need to find. After you make your changes, highlight everything again using a Control A. Then you again do Control C and make sure everything is still highlighted in here. Press Control A again if it's not, and then you press Control V to paste in your new text. For people who don't want to do that, I will find our adjusted settings in the default box here. We are looking for one of these style of notes saying turn on filament runout detection. You can click and hold the down arrow to have it slowly pan through the text. Around here is where it, this note currently lies on the scroll bar. Under that note, five lines down, we have the line that we need to change. The line is, says G1, E50, and F200. We need to focus on the E value here. This is the extrusion value of how much will be purged. If you want to reduce the amount purged, just simply reduce the number. I use 15. If you want to remove the purge, change the value to zero. 
In my first video, this was all you had to do, but then shortly after, they added more code. Scroll down a bit. I recommend still using the arrow because it now moves by one line of text per click. Four lines down from our previously edited line, we have the same line. Oh, <laughs> we have, where'd it go? We have the same line. This E value needs to be changed as well. I was told this line was designed to extrude while the nozzle gets colder to plug up the nozzle and reduce the oozing while waiting for the bed to heat up or something like that. So you may want a little extrusion on the second line. Personally, the only time I have seen the oozing happen has been with TPU. PLA and PETG have been fine as far as I've personally seen, but this can also be different from printer to printer and can possibly be variable depending on different brands and subtypes of plastics. So just use your best judgment based on observation and testing. The two extrusion lines do not have to be the same values. They can be mixed and matched depending on what you want, but personally, I just set them both to zero, resulting in no purge other than occasional oozing. Now you should be done with the code, but don't hit the X on the tab yet. You need to save your adjustments for easy switching later. There is a floppy disk or SD card icon that is to the right of the nozzle slash printer preset selection. Click on that. Usually you want user preset to be selected so you can use these changes on any of your projects. Make sure your name is something easily definable. I usually just change copy to no flush for my zero values. But mine is already saved under this name, so my program blocks me, but yours shouldn't, assuming that the name is unique. Keep in mind that these names are case sensitive, so you could end up making two of the same presets if you just change the case of any of your letters. Then hit OK when you have a name you are satisfied with. If you want to have the option to have a little less purge instead of no purge or the other way around, I recommend that you change the E values again now and save a separate preset with a new name for later. After that, you should be done. Click on the close button on the printer settings tab. Go to your printer selection menu on the prepare page and make sure your new purge amount has been selected. After you saved your new preset, it should have switched to it, but just double check just to be safe. From there, you should be ready to start printing with a little less wasted plastic. There shouldn't be any more changes currently, but I don't keep up to date with every change Bamboo Labs does, so I just look into issues when people tell me about them. If you have issues, go back through the video carefully and check to see if you missed anything or did something wrong or different. If you still are having issues after confirming all of that, I will try to help and inform you as best I can, but I make no guarantees. If you found this video informational, please leave a like. This channel normally talks about 3D printing, guitar, drums, and whatever I want generally. So if any of that sounds good, please consider subscribing. That's all I have to say for now, so I'll say bye bye